How does it feel, Richard, to move from the commons to the lords? Like moving from animals to the vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, my dear. Good to see you, Pete. Now, come and meet an old friend of mine, Jim Hacker. Jim, this is Professor Henderson. Professor Henderson? <laughs> I must say, I didn't expect to see the minister. Oh, what a coincidence. Yes. <laughs> what a coincidence. But you two know each other, then? Well, we haven't actually met. No, but I'm writing a report for the minister's department. Well, what a coincidence. Yes, what a coincidence. Yeah. Extraordinary <laughs> coincidence. <laughs> now, I expect you're very happy with my report? Oh, absolutely. Delighted. You must have worked very hard. Well, most of the work was done by the FDA in Washington. Ah, oh, well, if, if you'll excuse me, I'll go and help my wife with the tea. Tell me... Have you ever written a government report before? Uh, no. Because, you know, your name will be on it forevermore. The Henderson Report. It's a kind of immortality. Yes, I hadn't thought of it like that. And you, if anything were to go wrong... <laughs> go wrong? <laughs> if this uh, metadioxin were to turn out to be not quite as safe as you say it is, <laughs> your career... <laughs> Very courageous. <laughs> None of the standard tests on metadioxin show any evidence of teratogenic toxicity. Standard tests, quite. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you know, I was making a few notes in the train as I was coming down, huh? and of course I'm not a biochemist, but it would appear that the American report leaves some important questions unanswered. Well, and some of the evidence is inconclusive, some of the findings have been questioned, and the figures are open to other interpretations. Yes, but all figures and are open. different results might come from a wider and more detailed study over a longer time scale. Well, obviously... Yeah, yes, but, but, but you see, if anything were to go wrong, I mean, even in ten years' time, a delayed effect, the press would go straight to your report. And if it were to turn out that uh, you'd ever, well, for instance, done um, laboratory trials for a multinational drug company... That was 15 years ago. Fourteen. <laughs> you know what the press is like, even if there's no basis. No smoke without a fire could be a millstone. And the press would be absolutely merciless, especially the popular press. I mean, if anything went wrong, death agony of Henderson Report victims. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I don't know what to do. I, I mean, I can't alter the evidence. Metadioxin is a safe drug. The report has to say so. Oh, quiet. I can see you have no choice. Come along, you two. Stop talking shop. Uh, Our professor of economics is dying to talk to you. Oh, dear. <laughs> <clears throat> you're, um... Uh, you're not worried about this report, are you, though, Peter? You know, I've done lots of these things. It's only the phrasing of the conclusion that you have to worry about. That's all the press ever read. Now, um, how does it end up now? Well, I just say, on the existing evidence, the committee can see no reason not to proceed. Yes. Well, it's just a question of a tidy little bit of uh, redrafting. Uh, while the committee feel that there's no reason for them not to proceed on the existing evidence, it uh, must be emphasized that metadioxin is a comparatively recent compound. And it would be irresponsible to deny that, uh, after further research, its manufacture might be proved to be associated with health risks, something of that sort. Yes, yes, well, that seems perfectly fair. Could you just say that again? <laughs> Better than that. I'll jot it down for you. Uh, 